Hello people, um, today uh, I just thought I'd do a quick video uh, on the differences between uh, two of the BMW boxes most people use for drifting. Uh, the Getrag and the ZF ones that are found in sort of most E36s and 46s. So uh, I've got two boxes uh, and I'll just run you through the differences and how some are better than the others and a few of the things I've learned about them. Okay. So to start, what we've got here, uh, first we've got a get track. So as you can see there, get drag written on the side. Uh, and then over here we've got ZF. And see the you've got the different logos. Now what I have is I have a get drag in that. Uh, I had it start and I've had it for ages. Like I've had it for about um a year and a half, maybe even longer. And it's had a lot of hard work. But the one I've got has started to pop out a third gear. Now People say, all right, well, time to upgrade. I kind of need, I, this has lasted me a long time. So I'm going for another one of these, but I have a ZF, a spare box that I'm going to be using for my S14. So it's got a conversion from a 1UZ to a ZF. So I just want to keep that one as a spare, but I thought since I had the both, I would show you the differences and the similarities. So, if we start at the front, here's my cooked clutch. Right, this is a cooked clutch that came out of my uh, ZF box. Now, this is a clutch that came out, of, no, this is the clutch that came out of the get track. This is the clutch that came out of my ZF box. They are identical. There is no difference to them whatsoever. They, you can just looking at them. There's, there's no difference whatsoever. The size of the things are exactly the same. The teeth, where we teeth, you can just see they match up perfectly. And so this, you can have a ZF clutch and a thing. There'll be, I'm sure there's different ones, but. Uh, different maybe ratings of them for different models, but uh, they're the same size, so uh, you're good there. Now, obviously, like bolt pattern is exactly the same. Uh, you, these will both bolt up to any M52 or M54 engines, BMW engines. As far as I know, they should fit pretty much everything. I've had mine out of a 2.3, I've had it attached to, from a 2.3 out of an M52 and bolted the get drag box up to an M54, which um, ended up being a 2.5. Bolt up, no problem. Everything seems to be the same. The clutches are, yeah, cylinders. These are, this is the one that's from the ZF box, that number. Now, there's one in here. I don't know if you can see the number. You can quite see it, but you get them both beside each other. Exactly the same, apart from this bit here. Slightly different. This one says 0 to 1 plus, this one says 0 to 2 plus. But, look okay, at that. So, you should be able to use sleeve cylinders. Now, as you can, so, one of the things that is different, see speed sensor, this side, I think that's a speed sensor so anyway. So on this side and this one, on the get drag and on the ZF, different side. Uh, fill locations, fill location here, fill location there, and then empty it there, there's the plug. So the plugs are obviously on the bottom. Now, where it starts to get different, obviously, like, the size of them is a big difference. Like, this is skinny. This is way meatier. Like, obviously, the, 
the ZF box, I've been told, can take up to like 500 brake. This, no. I've been told that I think I've heard that some people say they're made of chocolate. I don't think they are because I've had this for a long time. So, and it, it stood up well. So I, that's why I'm going back because if you go to this, there's some things you have to change. Now, before we get to that, the cost of these are pennies. They are like, I was, I got this for 20 quid, a, a new one. Um, I'd budget around about 50 quid. These, however, they're starting to become more expensive, like 200, 250. You can end up paying for one of these. They do the bit. They do take a lot more part, and you can see just look at the look at the size between that and that, and even down here, it's just way chunkier. So there's a reason you're paying for a bit more. But if you do swap, if you do have a get drag and you do want to upgrade to something that's got a bit more meat in it, it starts to change back here. So. This, my, that's my one, it's a bit ruined now, but this is what is attached to here. Now, you can see that fits up nicely, but it's too small for this one. See, that doesn't fit. So you need to get a bigger one. You can see the size difference there. So if you're gonna get, so you can't reuse the one that you've got in there. Now, the other difference, you can see, if I look straight down on this, there is a bit of a difference in the length. Now, I don't know if that's a massive amount of a difference, but you are going to be changing the size of this. So that meets up to there. So this is the one that's come out of my E46 Compact. That fits that, fits that one fine, but obviously, this is way wider, so that doesn't. So you need to change the first part of your prop shaft. It might mean you need to change the rest, but so that's, because it slides in, I don't know if that just takes up the play. It might do, but get that checked. The other thing is, so the mounting points, mounting points ever, look, pretty much identical so I don't think you need to change anything there like it's yeah it's so small if you did I, I I wouldn't have thought so you should be able to use your should be able to use whatever was in there um yeah the the next thing though is your gear selector. Now, if I get this bit of pipe, I've lined up the front of these, so they are parallel. Now, I kind of line it up here. That's kind of just going through the center of there. It It's a bit further forward. This isn't the most accurate thing, but it is a bit further forward on here. So that, means that, I don't even know what you call this, but this is what holds your gear stick in position. So if you put this in, your, your gear stick is going to be pushed further back in the hole. Now that's, now what can then start to become an issue is the difference, because this then also has to fit in. Now, if the difference between these moves too much, you're going to end up with your gear stick at like stupid angles. So it's, it's just, it can end up with your gear stick really set back, really pushed forward. Now you get different sized one of these. Now depending on if you're putting in a compact, a saloon, the a, the hole your gear stick goes in will be in or could be in different positions, but you need to check if you go if you need a different one of these. Um, like 
this is the setup I've got and that works fine on with that but if I stick that in there now and put it in see I've got quite a bit of it's, it's laid back a decent about more so um, those these things you need to consider you might need to consider that you might need to consider that and you definitely need uh, a new uh, a new one of these and a new one of these but otherwise and you should be able I'm pretty sure OEM parts I don't think you could, you could cut this if you really needed to but you can probably just find BMW versions that will do it so done hope that was useful to somebody uh, just thought it might be quite useful for people to see things side by side and actually see what uh, what they are instead of looking at pictures and trying to look at the difference between things uh, just through Google image search which is the way I tried to do it All right thanks guys